trying to explain to you at the time that like like film is like a competitive sport you gotta oh yeah it's a marathon that's time. what you used to call it man it's a marathon it's a marathon man it's like a basketball player man you keep going for those hits joint. eventually you'll land there right exactly yeah. exactly but you got practice the craft practice practice the craft and yeah. since we met you've been practicing your craft thanks man. like it's crazy to see your growth as a the filmmaker progress. and as a writer man it's, thank you man it's insane really to me it. but like you need to you need to like give yourself a big pat on the back man because you survived you. <laughs> a lot longer than people i've met <laughs> thank you honestly it's it's a lot it's uh i really appreciate what you said man you're a good man uh it's a it's a lot of credit to um you know, how I was raised and I have, I owe a lot to like my family for being supportive. In the beginning, they were unsure as any parent, mm -hmm. you know, like they want you to make money, they want you to survive, but they now start to see like, if he just pushes a little bit more, if he just stays in it a little bit longer, um, you know, we, we trust that something could come out of it. Um, nothing's guaranteed. I even taught myself, especially this year after seeing, mm -hmm. witnessing 2020. Um, but I really do feel, I really do believe in myself. I really do believe in my peers or colleagues, friends like yourself, that if we really push ourselves, we have a story to tell. Um, mm -hmm. We're charismatic, we're imaginative, uh, we're creative, and we're passionate uh, people. And, and the reason why I stayed in the game this long, it's hard sometimes, you know, because I compare myself with people in mm -hmm. film school, and I know you have your own opinions about film students, but um, it, 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 when I look back at my progress, when I look back at, you know, what I've been developing, that's the true um, comparison. It's, it's who you are yesterday. And for all those out there, you know, especially the artists that are always comparing with others in the field, don't, because <laughs> you are not those people. No matter yeah. how hard you try, it, it doesn't matter. At the end of the day, it's always you. And that may sound uh, cheesy and cliche, and it's always the same stuff, but I think about it. If you're really meant to have your own voice, why would you want to be anyone else anyway? Like my buddy once told me, <laughs> Thanks. My buddy once told yo. me, Christian, listen to this. My buddy mm -hmm. once told me, he's like, yo, the truth is, man, you, you probably won't be a Tarantino. You probably won't be a Scorsese. Mm -hmm. And then I said once, like, I, I don't, never knew what to say when he said that. Mm -hmm. You'll never be a Scorsese. You'll never be a Tarantino. And I said, you know what? And one day I was like, I don't want to be. It's like, mm -hmm. I want to be Daniel Calderon. Because yeah. it's true. as much as I want to be Tarantino because of, you know, I, I like his style, like in the sense that he gets to do his own projects and mm -hmm. like people love him for it and gets to, and there's an audience for it. Like those are perks. But at the end of the day, I want to be my own filmmaker. I want to tell people yeah. to watch it. Like you, I want you to watch it and be like, yo, that's a Daniel Calderon film. Like I, mm -hmm. it struck me, it hit me. Um, and this is why we do these podcasts. This is why we do these uh, forms of creative content, these platform sharing uh, devices to express our, our vision is because we're trying to be a voice for the millennials, our generation, you know, the people that, you know, are trying to make sense of the world. Because this is our world now. We are the future mm -hmm. guys. Um, and we need to find a way to band together and see, you know, what our strengths and our weaknesses are. We're the first generation to be introduced to the internet. And the internet, um, for those that might not picked it up yet, is like the printing press. When people yeah. look back in 200 years, 300, they're going to make, they're going to, A, they're, they're going to be confused why we were so, you know, distraught about it. Like, you know, comparisons with social media. But it also makes sense to them because it was new to us. It's such a new device that it was just hard for us to adapt to. Uh, but we are the pioneers, man. We're the pioneers. And we need to capitalize on it. 